there. And there, I saw a lot of questions on uh, different forums as well as Kafaru Insiders, like what should a pack weigh for 10 days? Where should you load everything? So we loaded everything up and then went out here in the front yard. Um, this is, um, I think I, the only thing I'm missing in there is Copenhagen. And I think uh, only, I only have wet wipes in there, not toilet paper. So <laughs> I'll get that in there before I go. Uh, I, as far as fit goes, the one thing that you do want to look for on the pack, this is 68 pounds with everything inside right now. And you still want to have shoulder lift, right? I, you, don't want to, you don't want to be walking around like this. You want to be able to stand upright. Um, when I go uphill, I'm hunched over a bit. But when I pull on these load lifters, um, you know, I want to have that gap or at least the ability to transfer, you know, from the weight on my shoulders down to my hip bones. I try to go 70% on my hip bones. So um, either way, this is the uh, Kafaru Hoodlum, uh, one of my favorite packs. I've got a guide lid on it that'll actually probably get swapped out for the Bane pack before we go. But I'm just gonna unload the pack and go over where each thing's placed and why. Uh, as well as the clothing I'm going in with and I won't have it in the video But I'll go over what I keep in my truck if you're an asshole and a thief don't steal my shit uh, So as far as what I'm going in with uh, these are Hanvog Ferrata boots I'll probably wear these in and then uh, I'll have an extra set of uh, probably mockers in the truck This is my lucky really expensive icebreaker t-shirt that I've had for like 10 years um, It's actually got holes all over in it. I think it's a 150 weight I wear this thing pretty much every hunting season and you can see because it's pretty beat to shit. Um, this is like I said what I'm wearing in. Uh, this is Farm Defeat socks. I think these are the Damascus maybe. Um, this is just a, a Sitka Merino super thin shirt uh, with the zip neck. And then a sun hat which I really got to get better at wearing so I don't get cancer on my ears. And then the Apex pants. And uh, that's what I wear in on my body. The merino long sleeve shirt will probably come off pretty quick. And I'll just strap it to the outside of my pack. Uh, this is the ADAC Bino Harness. Um, I've got Zeiss range finding binoculars inside. And uh, Frank did a video the other day. You can look on Kafaru Cast. What he's got in his survival pouch is about the same as mine. Um, but it's a batter, extra range finder battery, fire starter, my uh, 601 Garmin GPS extra headlamp, things like that, that's inside here. And then right here, this is, and I did a video on this the other day with my wife and she uh, was able to kind of go over tuning and then the bow, but it's a Wingard Ibex, uh, 64 inch. And then I've got a five arrow, uh, Great Northern Quiver, four broadheads, and I got one backwards there, Stumper, and I just carry this in in my hand. I very rarely ever strap my bow to my pack. Um, now, for the pack itself, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, people that oh God, ask about, um, you know, the weights, like I was saying. And, and for us, what really kills it is the 95 millimeter spotting scope. This is a Zeiss. The camera gear inside here, I got two lenses, multiple extra batteries, cleaning kit, things like that, as well as the A7R3 um, uh, body that's inside and then a 24 to 105 lens and a 16 to 35 so that adds a lot of weight I got a GoPro in there as well and I'll go over that here in a minute so um, I, I'm gonna stand up here go over this uh, just so people understand and I'll go over it as I unload I put my tent on the outside I've still got room left inside I'm gonna have to put 12 cans of Copenhagen in that thing uh, and some toilet paper. I think everything else I've got. I got my tent strapped to the bottom And then I, this is an outdoorsman compact medium tripod Jim white two head. This is just my extra um, Arrows inside here. I may just strap them to the outside of the pack I've got an Onion Hilleberg GT2 on the bottom and uh, I'll start unloading it now. So what I really want to do Obviously the outside stuff self-explanatory uh, why I have it where I have it but what I really want to try and do when I'm loading this stuff is have my tripod and spotting scope accessible I don't like to put this in my outside pocket at all I always strap it between the lid and the bag so I can get to it quickly for glassing 
And then I try and get my food, the heaviest stuff, in the middle here. I don't mind putting my tent on the inside of the backpack when I need to. Um, I try to actually never strap to the outside unless I just need the room. It is nice to have it on the outside though when you got to pitch it in a hurry. But again, this is a Hilleberg um, Onion 3 GT3, or excuse me, this is an Onion GT2. Now, I guess I'll pop this lid off first. This is a guide lid from Kafaru. And I, like I said, I'm probably going to replace with, with this with the Bane pack. But inside here, lay that down. This is an Apex hoodie. For, and I usually have something like this, either strapped on the outside of the pack for common sense purposes. If I stop and I'm going to get cold, I'll throw this thing on. Um, I usually don't stop for very long. If I know the weather's going to be bad or something else, I'll reposition a puffy jacket or whatever to the outside. So that's the Apex. That also put buffer or kind of gives padding to my camera this is a 24 to 105 g series lens this is the a7r3 this is not actually the heavy camera strap i'm going to bring i have a light one like i said we just loaded this up so i will swap that out for a peak design but it's a little bit more spartan type uh, shoulder strap i just want that available to take photos right here i've just got a microphone for filming hopefully i remember to film uh, these are just like a fleece glove from Sitka. This is actually their, uh, I think this is a duck hunting line glove, but I really like it. Um, just to keep the, break the wind, keep the wind off. This is a face mask. And I go back and forth. Um, I paint my face most of the time, so I don't generally always use a face mask, but sometimes I just use it because it's freezing cold. These are storm front gloves. Um, now I go back and forth. I may not bring these. I may bring outdoor research mittens. It just depends on uh, what we're looking at for the weather. This is just a merino beanie hat. And then this, I'm kind of going back and forth if I'm actually going to bring this. This is a somewhat thin. This is a, a core medium, I guess, uh, crew. Um, and I may leave that merino at home and bring this. I, I may leave this at home. I haven't decided yet. I believe that's it. Yep, that's empty. So that's just stuff I need quickly now. On the outside here, my spotting scope and tripod pocket, which never actually put those in there. These are just rain pants. And I got the rain jacket over here. And this is my pack cover. Just things I need to get to quickly. This is a large belt pouch. This is my possibles pouch, and we'll do a video on what I have in my possibles pouch later. This is uh, wet wipes. Like I said, I will have a little bit more wet wipes and a little bit more, and I will have toilet paper. We just didn't load it up. Down here is the SteriPen. My water bladder. And then in my possibles pouch, I actually have uh, Aquamira tabs or MSR tabs, whatever they are, water purification tabs, and uh, I, I purify the water in this bladder with those tablets. Now inside the main bag, and again, there was room left in those. I, they're not all full. I always leave room. I, always, I pack the meat out inside the bag, so I shift things around to allow for the size of it. So the most important thing first, this is definitely not ultralight nor does it compact very small, but it's a Thermarest pillow. And I've tried for years all kinds of different shit and I just sleep better with this thing, so I suck it up and carry it. This is a Wiley X sunglasses case and I haven't had these Wiley X's for probably eight years, but it's good for holding Luco tape and I have a silica packet thing in there too, just so it doesn't get moist inside. And then that's for my feet. It's not a full roll. This is an MSR bath towel. Sometimes I shit can this, I don't bring it. It just depends on the weight. After putting this fucker on, I'm probably gonna leave this at home, but I might not. This is my camera bag. So this has a lens, like a, for a pin for cleaning off my sensor, alcohol wipes, extra battery, a hurricane blower, some Q-tips, just crap like that. Uh, SD cards are all inside that. 
This is the GoPro with uh, six extra batteries and an extra SD card. The batteries suck for a GoPro. They just do. Cold weather kills them, so I, I generally have to bring quite a few. That little bastard is heavy for what it is. Uh, this is actually super lightweight. This is my bow repair kit. Um, I did a video on Instagram on this. It's pretty basic. Just stuff I need to repair the bow. Uh, this has got uh, ibuprofen, toothpaste, toothbrush, extra um, contacts, migraine pills, and uh, contact solution inside here. And actually we added uh, some penicillin because I've got a uh, ingrown toe of all things right before season. We cut off the other day, so hopefully that thing doesn't get functified. But I, I brought some ointment as well as penicillin just in case uh, my toe falls off. This is just extra uh, iron wheel broadheads. This is a kill kit right here. So obviously fairly lighter weight stuff up top. Now as I get to that middle third is the heavy crap. Uh, this is heavy as shit. This is a 3200 milliamp, however you pronounce that, battery pack. I'm either going to bring this or the solar panel, and I haven't decided yet, but my buddy's borrowing the solar panel, so I couldn't put it in the video. This and the solar panel weigh about the same thing, so it equally sucks. I'm not gaining anything either way. But that's so I can get my Insta Google tweet face on. Uh, this is the biggest problem of them all, because I'm fat, tight too much. That is my food. Um, inside, I also have my MSR reactor stove. And I've got 3,500 calories per day. We did a video about this before. It might have been an Instagram story. I can't remember. Um, and, and each, well, I'll open it up. My neighbor, he's beating on shit over there. Um, <laughs> each one, each day of food is in a Ziploc bag. Uh, and that's heavy as hell. This is also heavier. This is... Um, uh, uh, Q Core um, Big Agnes sleeping pad. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, but it's four inches thick. Extra undies. This is the uh, waterproof puffy jacket from uh, Sitka, and I'm going back and forth with that and their standard puffy jacket. I think I'm going to bring the waterproof one. And then at the bottom, I've got a uh, slick 20 degree sleeping bag. That's pretty much it, you know, um, there's not, I've got room left inside if I need to pack an animal out, I, always, I can clamp at it. If I take that sleeping bag out, I'm only going to be able to handle probably another 60 pounds at the most, so, you know, depending. So you, know, you can rob Peter to pay Paul, figure it out, leave food, whatever you got to do, but I've never had an issue getting it out and then I, I just, where the food was, I'll, I'll put the deboned meat. Um, in the truck, I have extra food, extra change of clothing, civilian clothing, crap like that, extra wet wipes, just stuff I need to extend the trip. Um, you know, sometimes I'll throw an extra shelter in there, usually not, I generally don't have shelter problems. Uh, but either way, hopefully that explains how I do it. Lightweight crap on the bottom, really heavyweight stuff in the middle. I'll put moderate to lightweight stuff on top and then everything on the outside that I need to get to quickly. Mm -hmm.